We're getting closer, but still no recommendations from the KCI task force about changes for our airport. The KCI Citizens Task Force has met for a year now trying to decide the best plan to recommend to city council members. But as Sarah Hollenbeck reports, some Kansas City residents are upset with the options moving forward. They started with 50 options, and after a year, they finally narrowed it down to three options, but none of them will keep KCI as it is, and that's upsetting some Kansas City residents. The Citizens Advisory Group has three options. Two would require major renovations to the airport. The other would mean constructing a new one-terminal KCI. Some Kansas City residents want a fourth option on the table to make baseline repairs to the three terminals, keeping the airport similar to what we see today. The Citizens Task Force says the 40-year-old airport has too many deficiencies in security space, plumbing, and parking to make that a viable option. Kansas City resident Bill Mullins was at today's meeting and says the group needs to more heavily consider what the traveling public wants. At the end of the day, it's how many flights per week, how many seats per week, and how much time from your car to the gate or your, of the gate to your car. Those are the three measures of convenience, and we can't, as far as I can see, link the, the, the numbers on these spreadsheets to the relative value of, of preserving convenience. The Citizens Advisory Council has scheduled another meeting for May 7th at 8.30 in the morning. That's when they decide to make a final recommendation to City Council. From there, the Council will vote, and then I'm told this will go out to a public vote. Reporting outside the City Council Chambers, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.